All right, turning to the weather now, of course, this is top of mind for all of us in North Texas mm -hmm. today. And as you've said so many times before today, Erin, it's just really just starting for us, isn't it? Yeah, we've got a first alert weather day for today, tomorrow, and into Wednesday. Keep in mind, Thursday's weather still looks bad as well. We're just expecting the temperatures to get above freezing area wide by Thursday. So that's kind of the difference here. But it's already been a very active day. We've got a winter storm kind of unfolding before our eyes. We're expecting things to quiet down some for tonight, but it's going to pick back up even worse into Tuesday. So we don't want you to let your guard down just because you're starting to see less coverage of that winter precip on satellite and radar this afternoon. Now, when we switch on over to radar because it's cloudy across the board, so let's just get rid of the satellite. Take a look at the radar right now. Anywhere that you see highlighted in pink here, this is indicating freezing rain along with a mix of cold rain, maybe some sleep, but really it's where the purple is showing up that we're expecting a little bit more sleet sort of ongoing. Earlier this afternoon, when we were kind of keeping you covered on our streaming service, CBS News DFW, we had this area highlighted to the west where we were seeing a thunder sleet, so convective cells that were developing some sleet. Uh, when we take a look at the local storm reports that have come into the National Weather Service, you can see most of them highlighted right here. And these are reports of sleet uh, in parts of Parker County and Denton County as well. In some locations, sleet accumulations, at least on undriven roads, of up to an inch. So this is significant. These storms were producing a quick burst of heavy freezing rain and heavy sleet, and we've got those accumulations on the ground. And they're not going anywhere. Temperatures are in the 20s, almost area wide, and they're going to stay in the 20s overnight and into tomorrow morning. So through this evening, we're expecting isolated pockets of sleet and freezing rain. The coverage isn't going down to zero overnight. It's going to drop to closer to 20 to 30 percent, I think, after 8 o'clock tonight. But still, possibility of these pockets of sleet and freezing rain from time to time. Uh, so this added to the accumulations we've already seen lead to poor travel. Uh, so what we're watching for are these waves of freezing rain and sleet with heavy sleet and freezing rain in the forecast for tomorrow morning. So we are really just kind of begging at this point to not be on the road if you don't have to be tomorrow because we're expecting not just the morning but the afternoon to be pretty hazardous as far as travel is concerned. We've got another round of freezing rain expected Tuesday afternoon and then more widespread freezing rain Wednesday morning, hoping that by Wednesday afternoon afternoon, we get the temperatures to warm at least into the mid 30s. So the travel impacts likely for tomorrow. You see most of the area highlighted with freezing rain, sleet, ice, and just a cold rain as well. But ice accumulations look more likely the farther north and west you go. But you notice that a little bit of Dallas County, most of Tarrant County, Collin County, Denton County, all highlighted for these impacts on Tuesday. We've got coverage at 100% on Tuesday, 90% on Wednesday, 70% by Thursday. But Karen, at least the sunshine is back by Friday. Oh, can't wait. One more reason to want the weekend. All right. <laughs> to want the weekend, yeah. Exactly. Erin, thank you.